In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a route using Route Planner. This is a comprehensive route planning tool designed to serve as a guide when creating your journey. Here, you can create, edit, search for, or delete waypoints. Access estimates for fuel consumption, total distance, and travel time. And enable local data overlays such as U.S. Coast Guard and U.S. Army Corps of Engineers surveys. As you build your route, AquaMap will automatically highlight any navigational hazards along the way. This tutorial will walk you through the key features and show you how to use the tool effectively for precise and efficient route planning. Please remember that it is the user's responsibility to use this tool prudently. Before planning your route, make sure all the necessary chart tiles for your journey are downloaded. Missing chart data will prevent the route from being calculated and a message will appear if you try to add a waypoint on a missing tile. To download chart tiles, tap the charts icon in the bottom left corner to enter grid view. Select the tiles covering your desired area, then tap. Start to begin the download. To start creating a route, simply long press on the area of the chart where you want to place your first waypoint, or tap on the chart and select the route icon on the screen. A pop-up window will appear with two options, Start From or Navigate To. Start From sets the first waypoint you add on the route as your starting point. Navigate To sets the waypoint you have placed as the final destination, using your current GPS location as the starting point. For this tutorial, we will use Start From. Once you have done that, you will enter the route planning mode. On the left, you'll see a panel displaying route information such as name, distance, estimated time, and fuel consumption. Below that, as you build your route, you'll see a list of hazards based on your route planner settings and any additional safety parameters you've configured. Let's head over to the route planner settings. This is important before you start planning, especially if you will be using the auto planning mode. Once inside the Route Planner Settings page, you will find the following options. Resolution lets you adjust the level of detail used to calculate a route, allowing for more accurate paths through narrow channels. You can choose between standard and high. Higher resolution may increase the time required for the calculation. Safety Check determines your route based on the information you've entered in the Route Planner, including additional margins and My Boat parameters. You can choose between two options, weak or strong. Selecting weak allows the calculated route to pass through areas that may be shallow or contain potential hazards. You can also use your existing tracks and routes as a reference when calculating an automatic route. Simply enable this option by turning on Use Visible Tracks and Routes, followed by the option to skip track safety check if you wish for AquaMap not to do safety checks on the tracks. Finally, there is Tracks Routes Priority, which determines how existing tracks and routes are used. Standard uses the tracks or routes as a guide, but if it finds a more effective path, it will suggest it. High uses the tracks or routes as a strict guide, which can result in the creation of longer paths. The Additional Margins section allows you to add safety buffers to your draft and clearance settings. This feature uses the vessel specifications entered in the My Boat section and lets you apply extra margins for enhanced navigational safety. To review your information on the My Boat section, tap on the top arrow to go to the main settings menu and select My Boat. Here you can input key details such as draft, height, beam, and length. This is used by the app to optimize routing and avoid navigational hazards. You can then go back to the Route Planner dedicated page if you need to adjust some other parameters. When creating a route, you can choose and switch between two planning modes, Auto and Manual. In Auto mode, the route is generated from the current waypoint to the next by optimizing the path between the last and newly added waypoint based on your My Boat specifications and Route Planner settings preferences. Manual planning allows you to manage the route from start to finish by manually adding waypoints along the path. It then draws straight line segments between the newly inserted waypoint and the previous one. For this example, we will use auto planning mode. Now that we have finished customizing Route Planner, let's begin building our route. 
You can add waypoints by long pressing directly on the charts. Alternatively, tap on any location or a POI from Active Captain or Waterway Guide, then tap the Add Waypoint icon. You can also use the Add Waypoint section on the left panel to search for specific POIs or select from your saved markers. Within this page, you'll also find a globe icon on the top right corner. Tap it to open the Set Coordinates window, where you can manually enter latitude and longitude. If you would like to insert a new waypoint between two existing ones, just tap on the desired location along the route. A pop-up will ask if you'd like to add a new waypoint and split the segment. Tap Yes to confirm. If you want to reposition a waypoint in an automatically generated route, simply drag it to the new location. The system will automatically recalculate the segment between the previous and next waypoints. You can only delete waypoints that you've added. To do this, either tap on the waypoint and select the bin icon, or remove it from the list in the left-hand panel. This also applies to routes created in manual mode. With Aquamap, it is possible to use both modes for the same route. At any point during route editing, you can switch between auto and manual modes as many times as you wish. Manual segments are displayed in magenta, while automatic segments appear in dark purple, allowing you to easily distinguish between the two modes. In auto mode, the app always recalculates the path between the added, moved, or deleted waypoint and the previous and next waypoints, regardless of whether those segments were automatic or manual. In manual mode, the app never recalculates any portion of the route. If you add, move, or delete a waypoint, it will create a manual segment between the previous and next waypoints, regardless of whether that segment was previously automatic. Hybrid mode is designed to combine the efficiency of automatic route calculation with the precision of manual adjustments. It allows users to significantly streamline the route creation process while retaining full control to review and customize the route. If you place a waypoint in a non-navigable zone, such as on land or in shallow waters, you'll receive a warning. That segment of the route will appear as a continuous gray line, indicating it has not been calculated. Color indicators help you quickly assess risk levels along your route. You can also check the hazards present on your route using the hazards page, accessible from the dedicated section in the route edit info page. Segments that are considered dangerous to navigation are displayed in yellow with the warning, danger, low clearance, or low depth. This segment of the route is passing under overhead obstacles. Segments considered very hazardous to navigation are displayed in orange with the warning, very critical. Automatically calculated routes will never pass through areas like this. Navigational hazards are automatically detected in both manual and automatic planning modes and remain visible during active navigation when you enable Route Explorer. AquaMap can use extra layers and data that directly influence both automatic route planning and hazard detection. Route calculations are also enhanced by incorporating local data such as U.S. Coast Guard and U.S. Army Corps of Engineers surveys, based on the layers currently visible on the screen. You can use existing tracks and routes visible on your charts as references when creating new routes, providing a reliable guide during automatic planning. For example, you can use a Bob 423 track to plan a short segment of your route. Simply add your starting and ending waypoints, and the system will calculate an optimal route using all the enabled data. When preparing a route, you can also overlay additional data such as marine forecasts, currents, wind, gusts, waves, sea temperature, salinity, tide and current predictions, 
community data from Active Captain and Waterway Guide, and satellite overlays. These overlays are for personal reference only and do not influence automatic route planning, but they provide valuable information to support your planning decisions. When you're done, press the Save button. You can choose to save the route or save and begin navigating it. To delete a route, simply select the bin icon. If you are modifying an existing route, it will delete the changes made to the route, reverting back to the original file. If you prefer not to use these additional features while creating a route, you can simply turn off Route Planner. This reverts the app to basic route creation mode, allowing only manual routing without displaying hazards along your path or performing automatic route calculations. And that's it. You're all set to start planning your routes with Aquamap. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.